I grew up in a middle class family and I didn't know what entrepreneurship was, but I was passionate about what I was doing. And, and uh, when I came here, I had an opportunity to work for a young startup, young company, which was a part of Motorola. And, and we went from 20 people to 400 people and, and just experienced that ride. And, and when you get that rush, I think you just get hooked on it. And, and so I'm, I'm a big believer that you had to create these experiential learning opportunities for people. And when they experience it, it's just so empowering that people will do nothing but be entrepreneurial. I think the thing about entrepreneurship is every year you look back and, and you always say, I didn't know I could do that. And that feeling is, is a huge asset. And so I'm big into getting a whole bunch of excited people, people who don't necessarily may have the skill or the experience or, or having done it, but to get them all excited about doing something and when they do it, when you see that personal growth in them, I see a personal growth in myself too, but it's that personal growth in people that actually creates the excitement and, and action and, and it's just a, a marvelous feeling. When I started uh, a company called Cascade Communications in 1990, the idea behind the company was pretty simple. It was the expectation that every computer in the world would be connected to every other computer in the world. You know, now it looks ridiculous that you'd ever have a computer that's not connected, but that's the way it was. So, so having that vision of connecting every computer to every other computer, which created an opportunity to build these new networks and create technologies and so on, was probably a proud moment, you know, to have that sort of insight and stick with it and make it happen. Uh, it feels pretty good. Entrepreneurs are real change makers. You know, an entrepreneur thinks about something that he doesn't like in the world and he thinks of an opportunity, uh, a new product, a new service, a new way to socially organize and, and thinks about that idea but doesn't just leave it at an idea stage but actually makes that idea happen. Uh, I'm hooked on entrepreneurship and so I'm trying to bring that away, entre make entrepreneurship a way of life. So we're doing a couple of big projects, one in MIT and then another called Social Innovation Sandbox, one in India, one in Lower Lawrence, Massachusetts, and one in Canada. And the idea behind this is to actually go to these places where you need the social change and bring about that social change by having people living right in those community become innovative and entrepreneurial. Because unless they think about the change, unless they sign up to embrace the change, change does not happen. You know, I think, just to give an example, uh, we've been in India now for about six, seven years. One of these organizations said, we want to feed kids in India because a lot of the kids come hungry to schools. And so they said, well, you know, we should be innovative. We can use engineering, supply chain, procurement, accounting, and really build these kitchens to actually feed a good hot meal to school children. So they built this kitchen, and from this one kitchen, they do 185,000 meals a day. It's a hot meal for 12 cents a meal. And so in the last four or five years, they've been scaling it. We're at 1.3 million children every day now. So that's the power of entrepreneurship. There's too many people who are trying to inject solutions into communities which don't stick. And so I would love to see everybody in this world be an entrepreneur.